And so again, by just thanking Pastor Burns for giving me this opportunity to speak with you sisters and brothers tonight. My name is Rennie. I'm executive director of an organization called Families and Friends of the Wrongfully Convicted Inc. I served 27 years in prison for a crime I did not commit. This issue that we witnessed Wednesday night, it affects me well. I'm from Bevis Stuyvesant. I lived in this neighborhood for 61 years. So that affects me deeply. What we see in the day is not just happening in Bevis Stuyvesant. It's happening in Brownfield. It's happening in Harlem. It's happening in South Jamaica. It's happening in Chicago. It's happening in Los Angeles. Shooting response, we are behind the eight ball. In fact, we are way behind the eight ball. We are falling short in our duties in our communities with these young brothers. And this is not about french fries, it's not about guns. Guns is just the tool, the instrument that our youth are using to hurt and kill each other. It's that mindset. We've been taught to hurt, we've been taught to hate one another. We need to send our youth and all of us to a cleansing process. I had to go through it when I went to prison. That's why I'm here today to speak. I made a commitment, a conscious decision that I will not leave prison. I want to leave as a fireman, equipped with all the skills, the tools, and the education I can to come out and help and put that fire out that's burning. We don't need no deterrent. We don't need more sentences when our young youth get locked up with guns or when they get locked up for murder. Because that don't solve no problem because the upstate communities benefit off of that. What we need to be down here doing is speaking to these young brothers who are involved with this negative, reckless, and selfish lifestyle. Because many of us out here, we know who they are. And we need to talk to them. We said there's three families destroyed today. What about this community? This entire community is traumatized by that act. We have to get in front of this eight ball and doing this work. We know these brothers who's out there doing that. We know these sisters who's doing that. That was my daughter who passed that brother that gun. That was my son who that was my son who pulled that trigger. That was my son who got killed. We are one family. That's how I was when I grew up in Bevel Stuyvesant. And we gotta get back to the ways because we're gonna we're gonna be here next week. Shooting response, we behind the eight ball, sisters and brothers. We gotta get in front of the eight ball and stop this senseless and reckless violence. We gotta change the mindset of our youth because if we take away the guns, we're gonna kill each other with a stick, with a knife, with a bottle. Anything that we can to get to us, because we've been taught to hate ourselves. And our enemies know this. That's why our guns are flooded with, that's why our communities are flooded with guns. When you look in the 60s and the 70s, when we was the man in our rights, you couldn't even get no guns. Them brothers couldn't even get access to no guns. They have them in all kind of laws, because they know them guns that they were getting in their hands would not be used against their people. But today, guns are put from our community, and we need to ask ourselves why. And we got to get in front of the eight ball, brothers and sisters. I thank y'all. Thank you, brother.